it is still Friday. So I am officially still in live miss for Friday. I think I missed, I, I'm pretty sure I missed yesterday, but shit happens, y'all. Shit happens. I almost missed today. I've had some tech issues. This is the craziest tech issue ever. Let me share, create a post. Happy live miss. All right, gonna do some skincare, gonna do a little chit chat while I'm doing that. Hey, Alicia, I'm gonna do some skincare, do a little chit chat and tell y'all my tech issues. Then we're gonna get on the giftings um, that I gotta do. Um, so, hi, Cassandra. So let me just tell y'all, let me just tell y'all I have just had like the like the like the most bizarre tech issue ever. I haven't even taken my shower yet. I said, let me just go and go live, and then I'm gonna go and take a shower and relax. So I did my skin. So I'm gonna do a little skincare. Let me get off of here, and I'm gonna go take a shower. Whatever. Now let me just tell y'all something. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So, let me just tell y'all. I would have gone on earlier, but here's the issue I was having. I could not find the plug to my charger because y'all know I use my phones. So, I couldn't find a, a plug to my charger. So, but I found the cord earlier today. It was in here in the beauty room. But I couldn't find the charger, the plug itself. And this particular charger that I have is they are they are C to C, so they're small, right? So I'm sitting there trying to figure out this shit. So I, I find the charger, right? When I come down here, I kid you not, I go pull up the, the charger cord, and the charger cord somehow had fallen the one end of it had fallen into my hair oil that i make for myself so the charger cord is just full of hair oil there was a moment when i almost used it and i said bitch you gonna fuck up some shit you know what i'm saying because i was like well let me just dry it off i'm like this is oil it is all in it no don't put it in your phone you will ruin it so luckily i had a moment of clarity for this i'm really stupid now, the thing is, with this particular charger, because I have a Samsung, and this charger is the fastest I've ever had. You know, like, the, the Samsung chargers are pretty darn fast, right? Hey, D'Angelo, but this bitch, this bitch right here is, in, is fast. Like, it can literally take my phone from, like, 10% to full in an hour, right? so this this damn thing just is lightning <laughs> i do have it so now i have another one and so then i said okay i got the regular chargers you know with the big usb one that goes into it um so i got those but now i gotta find the plug right so i got another charger but it's you know it's a c charger to a usb charger that goes into the plug which is my usual samsung plugs because if you don't use the Samsung fast chargers plugs, it takes forever. And sometimes these motherfuckers don't work. So like I could use a regular just, where's a generic one? Where the hell is it at? So if I take like one of these, these little generic ones, just a basic one, it would take forever and a day for my phone to charge up. So you need to use the Samsung chargers. Now I got a thousand of these little things around here. Why? Because I've been buying Samsungs for years. Can't find the one. I'm going through everything trying to find it because I've been using this other charger now for like the last few months. Great thing. I need to put that in my favorites, by the way. So 
I'm like looking and looking. And I found that little charger. I'm looking in all my bags. Because I'm like, I know I have them. Where are they at? So I do all that and I said, fuck it. I'm going to use this little charger right here. So then I get here. I sit down. I've done all this. I've looked all over my house. Tearing up some shit. Going through my bags. Only to look down at this desk and see the Samsung charger sitting right here. So I got the Samsung charger going right now. It's charging. We'll see how it works. Okay. So anyway, that was my tech issue for the night. Not that it needed to be that long and drawn out, but it was. Oh my goodness. Let me put some perfumes away. So... As I purse my lips at y'all. Uh, let me put on some uh, lip stuff. I'm looking for my night lip stuff. What do I have? Y'all, I got so much shit on this damn desk. See, that's what I'm saying. This might be one of those, right, D? Because this is a, a charger I got up from Amazon. And this baby is like lightning. So this is the one I've been using much cheaper. Yeah, it's much cheaper. I got this. So, but like, you know, I just got those plugs from when I buy my phones. You know, you always get those plugs. But I couldn't find a damn plug to save my life. Where is my overnight lip mask stuff? I got a bunch here, but I don't want to open up another one. Okay, I'm just going to put this on my list for now because I think I got one in my purse. I'm not going to use my Nuri tonight. I'm going to be chill tonight. Uh, what am I putting on my skin tonight? Oh, okay. I'm just going to... You know, I'm just going to move for some oil. Oh, I know I'm putting on. Never mind. I know I'm putting on. So, yeah. I'm going to do a little oil and then a little niacinamide mask. That's it for tonight. Right. You really can't. So... My cables are good, but it's just that um, I done messed up the C to C cable. So now I'm going to have to buy a new one because this damn plug is the business. So I think I'm going to rebuy these because, you know, you need to have at least. Um, hey, Mark, it's not the cables. It was not the cables, y'all. What it was is that I accidentally somehow dropped one end of my cable in my hair oil i don't know how that happened don't i cannot explain how that happened but it did so i'm just doing a little eye cream and a little oil on my skin hi valencia so once i get the, once we get my skin together for the day you know the night i'm going to um we're going to, we're going, I'm going to show, I have to organize the kids. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Right. It's not about the cables. It's about what I did. It, you know, it's about me just trying to find a damn plug. And then, you know, seeing that I done fucked up some shit. Okay. So what's your, what's your do for the holidays? Are you buying your stuff? You buying for other people or did you buy? Use some gifts. And let me just tell y'all the adventures of my packages lately. So I'm having the okay. Now y'all know I have a mailing address. Y'all know it. It's, it's on all my stuff. You can send me stuff, right? Many of you all have sent me things, and I appreciate every time y'all send me something. Um, but that's not what we're talking about, right? So you know, I've moved. I don't know what the hell's going on with things. So, you know, most of, like for y'all know, y'all been around for the last almost three years. Oh, yes. I got all my gifts here. We're going to see what I got. So we, ooh, you're going to see what I bought for the kids. Okay. Yay. Because we, we got to organize their gifts. I'm going to show y'all everything I done bought so far for the kids so I can figure out what else I need to get. I don't think I need to get a lot. So y'all need to rein me in if y'all say that's enough. You done good. Or, I, I mean, there's a few more things I can get. 
I know a couple of things I want to get for Kari. But I think I'm good on Brooklyn, but I got to figure it out. Let me just see. Let's just talk. Let's just see the gifts in a second. Okay. Um. So, that's where I stand. So, yeah. So, it was not about anything but the fact that I somehow have ruined this damn thing. And luckily, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The kitties always do. But I'm doing good because I have given myself this limit on how much I was spending. And so far, so good. So I'm going to spend a little over. Because see, I know that here's what I do. Here's the way I think about it. I give myself this budget. Now, I know I'm probably going to break the budget. But by giving myself a budget, I don't do as bad as I could. If that makes sense. So let me tell y'all what's been going on my my um. Let me tell y'all what's been going on my packages. A few of my a couple of my packages. So strange. <laughs> so I, I ordered some stuff from Gallagher, and I used Shop Pay. You know they always defaulted to Shop Pay. So I didn't catch it, but somehow Shop Pay pulled my old address now i never send any things you know i never sent packages to myself to my old address reason being is because if y'all know we got issues up we had issues at my old place um and so you know i always had we i always had for the last two and a half years almost three years oh three years now i've i've actually had that that thing for longer than that actually, because I got it before I even moved over there. So I've had that thing. I've had my, <laughs> I've had that um, mailing address for about four years. I That's pretty much where I have all my stuff go. Um, But for some reason, Shop Pay sent it to my old address. You know, the one I used to live at with my, with my, with my neighbors. Luckily, um, it was um, there was, it was through the postal service. So there was a 40 on it. Now, of course, so luckily I finally got it because if you don't know, D, D will understand this because he knows what I'm talking about. Um, it went to the, the postal, the postal office. Um, it is, but it's never used it before. And my actual address that I use is listed too. So I don't know why it's doing that because that is a billing address, but that address has always been there. So it's not like all of a sudden, what is going on with my eye? This eye is like, okay, I'm tired. Y'all see how my eye is like low? Okay, um, extra low. So, um, so it is my billing at my old billing address. But that address has never been used, even though it shows up sometimes as a billing address. My shipping address has never changed on these apps. So now we're saying that. And so then all of a sudden, so that went there. Luckily, it was the postal service. So it went to that postal, that, you know, post office. But because there's a forwarding order, it's not like they're just going to say, oh, just send it to the next um, spot. It has to go back to the main post office and then be forwarded to the one, you know, to your new address. So it took a, a little bit over a week for that to happen, which I ain't complaining about because I know this process can take longer and that's how your shit gets lost sometimes. So I got that. That just came the other day. So I got a bunch of packages today picked up a bunch of packages from UPS and I'm going through myself I'm going through myself and I'm like wait a minute all of a sudden it just occurs to me I'm missing a couple of packages from Ulta so I look on the and then I go back into my and look at the Ulta thing not looking because I've been sending my packages to this address for three years Somehow Ulta has defaulted to my old address again. Don't ask me how. I have not used this address. Now I was on there, like you said, because that was my billing address. 
but it's never shipped there. All of a sudden, it says it's my primary. Um, you know, I and I don't know how the fuck it did it. But Ulta, you didn't you, you know, they use a, a, a shipping service. Luckily, my brother, my son-in-law was able to go over there and get into the building. The landlord let, got him into the building because they've changed the lock since we've been gone. He said they actually he cleaned up the damn building, but that's another, that's something new. I'm not even gonna talk about. I don't care. I got a house. Fuck you, dumbass. Um, y'all yeah, remember my landlord. Um, and so he got in and got them. So they were luckily they were there because they had been delivered yesterday. I'm thinking they have my postal, my 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 box. No, they're sitting in the building. Luckily, I got them. So that has been my experiences with mailing things lately so what i did was hey angelica so what i did was i'm going through all of my things that i use and making sure that i put that as my default address now my mailing address because i'm like what the hell just happened so now i know that for a minute and I, that I need to be checking because for some unknown reason, this is happening with the packages. And it's not every package, it's just some. So, my, um, I am feeling much better. Thank you. Um, I am going to, um, last night I couldn't sleep, y'all, because I went upstairs. And y'all, y'all know, you know, y'all could tell I'm black. I'd be like, hey, y'all, y'all, I fell asleep around eight. I was not trying to sleep at eight. I was sitting there watching TV and I was literally sitting up with my feet on the couch, calling myself, watching something. And I was in dead sleep. I woke up, B told me, she said, I turned the TV off. I just let you sleep. She said my mouth was hanging open. Luckily, I wasn't drooling because... Isn't that always like the most like jarring feeling is when you are sleeping so hard and you wake up and you've been drooling all over your face. It just ain't a good feeling y'all. It just is not a good feeling. That's all. So I'm just going to put this stuff on. I, it just, it just been making me feel like what's going on. You know, you wake up like that, you be like, what the hell is going on with me? So, um, in an effort to use some things up, I am starting to use things and consistently use them for a while before I move on to something new. So my nighttime thing right now is this pharmacy 10% nice out of my night mask. One of the reasons why I'm doing that is to see do I really like. And that's part of the reason why I don't use things for so long. I use things for so long because you always want to see do they actually work. You know, you need to see do these damn things work. Right. Okay, so my face is good. But let me tell y'all what I had this epiphany before we get started. I was in the bathroom, you know, and I was about to wash my face and I looked at myself and I said, oh, it is officially all the way winter time because you ain't got no piece of melanin going on right now. You got the faintest wisp of melanin right now. My melanin is not popping, y'all. I am not, you know, this is not honey colored loo time of this year. I was like, girl, you pale as fuck. I don't like to call myself that. I still like to maintain the fact that I'm pretty, you know. But I was like, damn, girl, what happened to your color? Okay. So what I have here is I got the all the bags. No, and that's true. I, I do know that I... I have not been getting as much sleep as I need to get, right? I know that I'm tired. And so I know that during my spring break, baby, I am going to, I mean, my Christmas break, I am going to sleep well. 
I'm going to, you know, get my sleep. I'm going to, uh, let me tell you something. That's why I'm fucking with Benadryl and stuff like that. Benadryl had me out in two minutes. I talk, I am very, I have a very low capacity toward drugs of any type. This shit will knock me out. It will knock me out. I can't mess with nothing. Anything to say, don't give me a muscle relaxant. Oh, the muscle relaxant is going to definitely have me on my ass. Uh-uh. A muscle relaxant, I will wake up with drool almost down to my titties, okay? I'll just be um, just drooling down to my titties, Okay. So I'm going to show y'all what I got for them. And what I'm trying to do is put them in bags. Because right now, I just kind of like, see, I didn't want the, I didn't want the grown folks. Because you know the kids don't know what the hell going on right now. Kara, too, Brooklyn, nine months. She don't know what's going on. And she don't care. But I'm going to um, show y'all what I got. So I'm putting it in here because I'm. they don't know everything that I got the kids. Because they kind of, you know, this is going to be for them, too. Because it's like, you know. So as if you don't know, I do clothes at Christmas time, mainly because their birthdays is coming right behind. Cars is in January, hers is in February. So that's when I'm going to get them something toy-like. Uh, I think I'm getting him some stuff for his iPad. I was looking at a really good, you know, learning kind of thing for his, t uh, a learning app kind of vibe for his iPad. So I saw one that I think I'm going to get for him for his birthday. So that's the plan for him. I still don't know what I'm getting a little Tinkerbell for her birthday. All right. So let's get started. So I got shoes for them, you know, because I got to keep their shoe game up. So here are a pair of his Uggs. So I got him these. I really miss, I should have just bought them when they had the gray ones in because I was waiting to purchase everything that I wanted at one time and get, you know, I was trying to be environmentally conscious. And so I was waiting to get the, for the other pieces that I want to get because I need to make a payment on my Nordstrom card. So I wanted with the black ones because I wanted the gray ones, but this is cute. These are good. These are good. So he's got those. So those are cards. So they're going to go on the card bag. All right, let's see. What's these? Then I found these from Brookie. But my little Brookster. Now, these are way too big. These are supposed to be a three in baby shoes. These things are humongous. Look how big these things are. She's going to be swimming in these. She, can barely, she can't really wear a three, but it's hard to find twos. So I bought her the threes because I know her foot going to be in a three eventually. So I got her these because these were on clearance. And, you know, they look purple. Look, so, okay, so she got those. So let's go in her bag. All right. Then I got Kari his snow boots. So I got his Sorrells. So we can go play in the yard. Cause uh and I gotta get now we gotta get him some snow pants. So he can play out in the yard. Get them all ready to bundle up and go have some fun. So those are his. And then I got her these. Are these not the cutest? They're, these are supposed to be a three, too. But look how big they are. But that's okay, because her little foot going to be in them, and she going to be nice and warm. So she got her first pair of Uggs. That goes in her bag. Okay, so that's her bag right there. All right, so I can get rid of all this stuff. So I can toss this bag out. Okay, and then I got these t-shirts. 
These I, sh I think I showed you all these. This is Cutie with the Fade. Oh, I showed y'all the picture of it. So I got Cutie with the Fade for him. That goes in his bag. And then I got him this shirt. It says, Dear Black Boy, when you smile, the stars come out to dance. So I got him, I got him these two. These were I found on Nordstrom's. What's the brand name? They're by Typical Black Tees. Oh, yeah, my kid's bougie. Listen, Kari sits around eating prosciutto and uh, manchego cheese with his mama. So those I got. Okay, then we got this bag right here. Okay, so let's go through this bag. Let's see what I've got in here. Oh, okay, so I got this for her. I didn't know it had the, no, it doesn't have the feet. So, so it's a, because I was looking for some kind of onesie kind of vibes, but without the feet in them because she don't like the feet. She like her feet out so she can make it moving and grooving. So I found these. So this is like nice little fleecy one, and then the feet are out, but it's got the little, it's got the little things, so it should be nice and warm and comfy, cozy in this, you know? Because I am big on, let's just talk about these new parents, okay? So, new parenting says, that kids that are in car seats you don't put them in a big old coat or like a snow suit you put them in something a little lighter because by doing that they're not being protected because the the suit the 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 big coat is too much putting between them and the thing so if there's an accident they're not being protected i kid you not so you know put them in fleeces and stuff like that Or take their coats off when they get in the car. I cannot make this shit up. So me and BB fighting about this all the time. So you know I'm I'm old. You buy motherfucking you buy your kids some co winter coats. Kari got about two three coats. Sweat, she got coats. You know what I'm saying? Um, but B is on this hall. No, no. So if they wear, if it's cold, it's 20 degrees outside. They wearing them motherfucking coats outside. But she wants you to put them in the car and take the motherfucking coat off, y'all. Okay. So I'm not, you know, I'm like, okay, this is new parenting shit. Okay. So she, I be rolling my eyes and giving a side out time. So then it's like, okay, fine. And we just putting these big, ass, so now I got to have all these big ass blankets in the car and wrap them up when they coming out the car, in and out the car, because I, it's just like, it's too much. Cause like he had on his big coat, nice and nice out, you know? No, supposedly they say, this is what I'm telling you, she and these, these damn mommy groups and shit. And they say, don't put them on them. And, you know, it's because it's not tight enough on them. It's supposedly because it's not tight enough. So, like, one day we had him in his coat. And and I, I we got to take the whole coat off so he can get in the car. I'm like, but then we're going to have to put the whole damn thing on to get him out the car. Oh, Lord. Okay, let me not get started because that shit. Okay, so here's his other shirt. Here's her. Oh no, this is hers. Cutie with the curls. So this is her shirt. I swear to y'all, this is supposed to be a six month shirt. Look how big this thing is. She gonna be wearing this thing forever. So that says Cutie with the curls. So that's hers. And then I got this. You know, you know, you gotta get these outfits. So I got her this little outfit, the little panky with some little um, legs. That's what all I'm saying is. I was like. Because you know. I, it's like. Oh it's getting winter time. Let me get them some coats. They got coats. I'm like you got my kids out here. No man. 
And then I found this little cute little top to wear with her little leg jeggings and everything. So I found this one. Look at the little... It, now, mind you, what size is this? This is 69 months. She's going to be wearing this forever. Because, you, you know, Brooklyn don't even weigh 20 pounds. Brooklyn is 9 months old. She weighs 17 pounds right now. So she's a little tiny thing. So this is 69 months. She's going to be wearing this forever. Let me go get that bag. So that's hers. Let me get this bag right here. That's what I'm saying, D'Angelo. That's my whole point. I told her the same exact thing. I said, well, you know, we didn't do that when y'all was young. Y'all was fine. I said, well, no problems. And we had the jankiest, and 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 our car seats were nowhere near as good as these damn car seats are. These motherfuckers are intense. I'm like, is that I said, fuck it, you know. The cars are much safer. The damn things are much safer. Is this all one thing? I think it is. Okay, so I'm trying to keep everything together so I can put it all together. You know what I'm saying? So this is a Carter's little outfit. I think it's this is it because it's got this, right? It's got the leggings, the little plaid leggings, and it's got a nice little black onesie to wear underneath it. So that's a cute little outfit. I'm like, y'all was fine. I had y'all bundled up like. And then and y'all were okay. So, I think I, I still owe Kari some clothes. What is this? What is this? Oh, these are the ones that Hadley sent me. I'm like, what is this? These are the samples that Helen sent me. Okay, so yes, I got my samples right here. Okay, so I got to try these out soon. I'm just going to have to start doing lives and sampling shit again. because. But then that means I still need to put them on my skin because, you know, okay. Okay, and then I got, look at these, y'all. I got her these little Levi's. So I found her some Levi's. How many pairs of Levi's did I get her? I think I got her two pairs of Levi's. So she got two pairs of Levi's. I did good because I did not buy any. Did she? I have so many samples sitting around this house. It's ridiculous. Oh, and then I found these leggings. And then they got the little bows at the bottom. So I got them in navy and I got them in black. So I got them in black. Okay. I think she's good. I think this is just a little top I bought. No, this is a onesie, so it must go with something. Hold on. I'm seeing this. Where's the other part? Okay, because that's what I got to figure out. What is what? Okay, so these are Kari's. Okay, so these are Kari's. These are some just sweatpants. Because I tried to get him a bunch of like sweatpants and things like that. You know, going to school. So he'll have his little clothes to wear every day for school. These are his too. I'm glad I was about to buy him another pair of these. So I'm glad I'm looking in this stuff, y'all, because I was about to place another order and buy him some more sweats. Okay, glad I looked. Okay. Then I got her. Okay, so now let's see what else she got. That's an outfit. Okay, so then I got her this outfit right here. Hmm. It is a separate that I bought. Hmm. Interesting. So I got her, you know, so I, I was getting a little outfit. So I got a little cute little tops and those. I think Brooke is good. And then this is. Is this it? I think this and this goes together. Yes. And then it's got a onesie to go under it because this is like a jackety kind of vibe so this is jacket onesie and the little sparkly can y'all see the sparkles in her leggings so she got sparkle leggings <laughs> now 
Then I got her this little outfit. <laughs> um, let's see. I got her this because you know she need her some. She need her some of these. I need to get her some brown shoes though, y'all. I'm looking, she's got browns going on. I think she needs a cute little pair of brown shoes. So let me look for some brown shoes, y'all. So that's the last thing she needs. Because look, she's got her little her little leopard print. So she needs some shoes that'll work with these. And then she's got her jeans so she can wear some browns with those. And then she got some jeggings. Then she got some jeggings. Because you know. She got it. She got, you know, she got a little jeggings. So, so now we got that. So Brooke is doing pretty good. All right, so now let's see what else I got over here. Now I got a few things for Kari here. That's why I think Kari needs a couple more things figured out right now. So I got him some t-shirts. I got him this t-shirt. Got him a Batman t-shirt. Got him this one. Where did I find this at? Macy's. Got that in Macy's. And I got him some a Levi t-shirt. And got him a Black Panther t-shirt. So I think his t-shirt game is okay right now. Got him a Black Panther t-shirt. I think his, I think his uh, t-shirt game is going to be tight for a minute. And I got him this, which is a cute little light. Just a hoodie. Just a camouflage kind of hoodie. Oh, I got him another t-shirt. My bad. And I got him a Marvel t-shirt. An Avengers t-shirt. I am hungry. I did not have dinner. Now that I'm thinking about things, I didn't have dinner. And now I'm starving. I hate when I do that. Because I'd be fine. And then it gets like this. And then I'm starving. Then I got, I found him some jeans. So I got him a bunch of jeans. I got him all these Levi's. He got his Levi's. Can I just say that I just, I mean, little kids clothes be so cute to me. Now when they get big kids, then I really got, they gonna be like trying to really gouge me. I'm gonna be like, listen, then I got him some khaki lot Levi's. And I got Brooke one more. See, I got, I got this little outfit. See, that's why she needs her some brown in her life. Okay, see, yep, I'm going to need to find her some brown kind of shoes, kind of vibe. I almost bought her these rose gold boots, but they was too big. And I was like, nah, don't buy them because she is not going to be able to wear them. And then she going to outgrow them by the time it's time to wear them again. So I, I did good. Because I was like, you could stuff some stuff in them shoes. They were so cute. They were little rose gold boots. Okay, so then he's got these jeans. So he's got, so I got him some black Levi's. So I got him four pairs of Levi's. Okay, so I got him four pairs of Levi's. Then he's got the, well, these aren't Levi's, but then he's got another pair. Hey, Bertie. So, okay. So Kari's got, okay, so I need to get Kari. Um, so what I need to find him is a Puma warm-up suit because he got a lot of Pumas. So he needs him a Puma warm-up suit. And they hit you straight. And he will, and then he will, uh, yeah, he'll be good. And maybe if, if I see some more sweatpants or something, I'll get him some more sweatpants. And then he should be good to go. Because t-shirts I'm good on. That, that's like, he's got six, seven t-shirts. I always, I, I have this thing at Christmas time. That I try to get them at least seven new outfits. A week's worth. You know what I'm saying? At least a week's worth of clothes. New things. You know? <laughs> Even though they don't care. But you know. Now, of course, when they get older, they ain't getting no week's worth of clothes from me. Because that shit's going to be expensive. Unless I find it on good deals. And now that's fine. Okay. So, let me show y'all what else I got. I will be doing my Black Friday cyber kind of vibe haul probably <laughs> it'll come up on monday or tuesday because i got a couple of things still coming in i'm not gonna show y'all everything i got 
because I need to leave some something to the imagination. Oh, and I got to post up for the members because y'all got a giveaway. So I got to do that. Okay, so I got to complete the other. But let's just see what's in my also part my purchases. So as I told y'all, I have been on a more skincare-ish kind of vibe. So let's look and see what I've gotten. Y'all kind of quiet. It's 11 o'clock at night. Let's get to talking shit. I swear to God, I am really mad at myself to, that I've actually looked at some of them hygiene damn videos because they keep cropping up and I'm tired of seeing the, the soft core, the soft core porn that these little young ladies, are, these women are putting out. I'm tired of, I'm tired of seeing them washing themselves to here, soaping themselves up. Why well, I need to see you wash your ass? Show me what you use. If you have a hygiene routine or whatever, you want to show what you use, fine. But how do, why do I got to see you wash your ass all the time? Why I got to see your thigh going up towards your cooch? Because we are, they, some of them, get, they try to get, just, they go, get high enough for you to see. And then if they go toward the back, they're trying to give you that little contour of the ass. Come on now. Quit playing with me. Okay, so I bought these. On the Amazon app. I bought these to try out. Now for hey Drea. Let's just. If you know. You know about the Shiseido cotton. Cottons. Right. What do they call this? The Shiseido cottons. Right. Those things are like. Beautiful pillows for your skin. If you use them. Right. So. If you okay, so the people who know, y'all know what I'm talking about. The Shiseido cottons, right? Which so uh, for the people who don't know, who this takes cotton balls to a cotton pad to a whole new level, to a whole new level. But they're kind of pricey, not super pricey, but just pricey enough. So I saw these and I said, let me try these. Let's try them out. So this says DHC silky cotton. Now, the Shiseidos are um, usually about $12 a pack. Um, I cut them in half. because they. So, this said DHC Silky Cotton. This was $6. Now, this says a delicate silk blend wrapped around layers of 100% natural cotton. So, I said, well, let's try these. Let's just see. So, so this is how they come. Which is a better packaging than the Shiseido ones. These ain't Shiseido. Luckily, I didn't pay that much for them. I mean, these are doable. Hi, Jody. These are doable. These are nice. Like, if you never use the Shiseido ones, you would say these are good. But once you use the Shiseido, you'd be like, mm, these are alright. Right, I know, I know, and that's why I said it. You know, I said maybe the, so, and I know DHC is a, a, you know, a lesser costing, you know, Japanese brand. So I said, let's just see, let's just see. So I'm gonna try them on my face though with some stuff, um, cause hold up, let me just show, show you what I got. So I got another box right here. So I bought a few things. So I bought a few things. So let me show y'all what I got. Um, and you will see where I've been going. So I did Ulta Diamond Day. You know, for the people who do not shop at Ulta, Ulta has, um, you know, they they have their levels, and you have Diamond and Platinum Day, once a month, and um, and they have stuff, you know, so they always have some free shit you can get, you know, like if you spend like twenty five dollars as a Diamond because you're the highest level, you're gonna get something free, and it's always a full size. Like I got that DHC um, moisturizer free um one month so they had this month so i had to buy some shit y'all 
they had my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. If you bought $25 worth of shit, I had to get it. I had to because this is Peach and Lily and it was free with $25. So I was already trying, I was going to buy some stuff anyway. So it just made it worth it. So I got me a free one. Yay. So I got another backup. So that has to go back in the backup section. Now, let me tell you what else they had for free. I had never seen anything like this. I don't know what the hell was going on, but they had this. I can't remember what I, what I did to get this freebie. I don't know. But they had this for free. So let me show y'all. They had t-shirts. So let me show y'all this t-shirt I got. They had like three or four different designs, all female empowerment kind of vibes. So this says, beauty is here and there and you and me and tall and short and boundless and wellness and wrinkled and feminine and masculine and non-binary non and everybody. So, because they had like three or four different ones, but I, I like this one the best. One was like, eh, no. It was two, it was this and another one I like, but I wanted to pick this one. So yeah, I got this shirt for free. And so, speaking of extra, extra and stuff like that. So, <coughs> in a, um, in the spirits of being extra, and once you see the stuff that I bought, hi, Antonio, once you see my whole, like, cyber kind of purchases, you'll see that there is a... There's, there's, there's some, yeah, okay. So anyway, you know, so I'm in a skincare, body care kind of mood. Let's just say that hair care, skincare, but I'm in that mood. So with that, I bought a few things to try. So I bought this Beekman 1802 facial cleansing bar. Wanted to try it. It's got goat milk in it. It's got, um, so it's really, you know, got coconut in it. So I wanted to see how it was um, and see how it works because it's got goat milk, colostrum, and milk probiotics. So I wanted to try it. I don't really do bar soaps, but let me tell y'all something about my little bathroom. The bar soaps last. Um, I don't know. I just picked it up, Dre. I just decided, let me just try it because it was a decent price. So I wanted to try it. So I got it. Um, and my bathroom, for some reason, um, it doesn't get, you know, like you can, I could just leave my soaps on the tile. Like I can leave them on the, on my, um, sink, you know, um, and I can leave it on the, um, you know, my little shower area and they don't melt down um, fast. So, um, so speaking of goat milk and everything. So with DAC, this is what I bought. I bought um, the face wash powder. I wanted to try this um, because I wanted to see, because I have the, Dermalogica microfoliants, which I love. But I was like, oh, let's see how this works. Is this better? But you know, I got that big ass thing in the Dermalogica. That thing will last me forever. Thing will last me forever. But I was like, oh, let's try this face wash powder. This is my DHC to see how this one works. It was very inexpensive. So I got that. What is this? Oh, this is the essence that I bought from Kiehl's. So this one is the Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. Um, and it has naturally derived, derived ferulic acid, lactic acid, and squalane oil. So I saw this. I think this is a new product. And I was like, oh, I'm in an essence mood. Let me get one. So I got that. And this... Um, Sweaters is all about it too, honey. I have been all into the sweaters. I, I got to order me some new sweater sets. Um, well, ferulic acid um, works with vitamin C's. I do know that. 
I do know Angelic is our girl, so she'll tell us. But um, I know that ferulic acid helps vitamin C's absorb better. So anyway, um, <coughs> then I decided that I wanted to do some body serums. So I have a few now. One of them I'm not going to show y'all yet. So I got this Dionysus, which I like Dionysus. Um, they're another goat milk. Um, this is the goat milk body serum. So we're going to see. Uh, choo -choo -choo. So I got that. Then I got the Soap and Glory, the Real Zing Radiance Boosting Body Serum. Why not? I'm just all, you know, listen, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just going to be the most, um, you know, I just feel like I want to be, uh, oh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't show y'all this. I got the soap and glory smoothie breakfast scrub too. So I got a body scrub. I'm trying to consolidate things. Um, I, yeah, I'll never do what she says either. I wash her though. This don't smell like it. it smells sort of like oatmeal with the um is is there oatmeal in here? I don't know, I gotta see. But anyway, I like this one though. This will be a good one for every day though. Yeah, it's got uh almond and honey and banana. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I have these moments. And then I slow down. So I was having a moment. So it was like, so here's what I here's where I am. Um <laughs> I have these moments. And so as Bianca said, um, um, yeah, is that late nights, late nights, late nights, that's what be happening to me. I'd be like, ooh, let me look at some stuff. And so I saw somebody talking about body serums. I was like, ooh, a body serum. So then I kind of like got, I'm telling y'all, I have to watch myself because I will then be like, oh, I want body serums. And so then I'm like looking for them. And then I'm like, okay. And so then I'm gonna get a few up. And so with that being said, I'm going to have a whole conversation. Oh, my gosh. I miss this. Oh, so there is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I miss a whole outfit? I see some pants, but I know there's a little top to go with this for her. Let me find this damn top. Okay. Okay, so here's how my mind works. Here's how my mind works. Um. Uh, Oh, yeah. If I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't go to sleep, I am now working on not doing that because I will go from rabbit hole to rabbit hole to rabbit hole and I'll just be in them. So here's what I'm doing, though. And this is going to be a whole video about what my plan is for myself in 2023. It is to slow down on just buying shit and actually using it. Because I'll buy it, I'll use it a few times, and I'm on to the next thing. And I think, <laughs> I'm just being honest, <clears throat> I really got into that habit. Once I started doing YouTube and being in the beauty space in particular. And so that's why I'm slowing down and looking at the shit I'm doing and going, no bitch, stop. That's why I'm about to be decluttering quite a bit of this Bath and Body Works. Um um, so I'm, I'm working on that and just getting things, you know, and understanding that let's go through some things and let's use some things, Louise, and you just be lavish with the shit. Cause some, because I have this inner miser. Oh, I'm never going to say a low by year. No, Angelica. I never say things like that, but <laughs> because that's when my fucking brain goes insane. But what I will do is, you know, I'm really thinking about, okay, let me use some things up. So like I, like I shut myself down on buying a lot of foundations because when I was doing beauty shit, it was like, you're always trying to buy those new things and try them out. Right. 
So I'm not doing that. So what I'm doing, so I shut myself down. Um, so I, I shut myself down a while from doing that because I was like, okay, you know, it was like, ooh, the new foundation comes out. You got to get it. You got to try it. You know, I used to try like about four foundations a month. Like you one, wear one a week. Um, yeah, I ain't trying to do that shit. But what I am doing, and I'm, and even with me spending money right now, it's been so much better than normal. No, no, see, no, the last, no, listen, I learned a lesson, lesson about this shit. Because one time I tried to tell myself I was going to do a low buy, I spent more money than I ever did. Right? Um, so I don't even play with myself. But what I am saying is that I'm looking at this stuff and going, okay, use some of this stuff. So I am, even though I bought these things, I am actually using more of my products, you know? And so I'm now looking at stuff and going, okay, let's use some more of these type of products. Because like body care and skin care, um, consistently I should be, you know, I have a tendency to rotate really a lot. So I'm going to use some things up and, you know, that part. So that is the plan. And like, for instance, I only bought two. Well, I wanted to buy some Latafa don't count. <laughs> but I bought some Latafas. Um, like one, two, three. Three. right? Three and two. So I bought two fragrances. I did not go out, you know, because all those sales was coming, all them sales was coming at us. I did not do bad. I did not lose my damn mind. Like, you know, 2020, 2021 was kind of bad too. Um, cause, um, <laughs> right. Because even though I have, uh, right. Right. And like, I, like I'm so like, for instance, you know, Sephora got a 20% off coupon. I have not touched it. You know, everybody's like, oh my God, Sephora's got 20% off the coupon. I put some stuff in the basket and then I was like, nah, you don't need to get that. And so that's where, and, and those moments make me feel good about myself because normally that ain't what's going to happen. I'd be like, okay, let me see what I'm about to get from Sephora. Now, I am going to get some stuff from Ulta on the 20% off coupon, but that's mainly because I'm buying Christmas presents. So, that too is like, you know, but there's a couple of pre Christmas presents that they have on Sephora's and on Ulta's. So, I'm just going to get them there and I'm going to be good. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm really like going, okay, stop. You know, it's good. You you don't need that. And and that's how it's working for me. Um, I think I know who you're talking about. Who does a lot, she does mostly Middle Eastern. I know, I think I'm pretty sure I know who you're talking about. Because I think I, I watch it sometimes. See here, but once again, see, and then. I'm really not watching a lot of people. So I have a tendency to like throw something on to just to have it on. But I don't watch a lot of stuff because I don't want to get in that frenzy kind of mode sometimes. Because, you know, you watch stuff and you get into a frenzy kind of mode. Like, oh, I need, oh, I need some more. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> so I am working on not hitting the frenzy. It's going pretty good. Um, and just looking at stuff and going, nah. Because, like, the other thing is I am going to redo the stuff that I really want. Wish list kind of vibe. And kind of try not to lose my mind on good deals. Oh, I do like that. That Laneige primer. That Laneige primer is good. Um, so, I think I'm... So, that's kind of where I am. And so, even though I'm... Like, right now. See, here's what I know. In my head, you're going to see why I'm saying this. I mean, I was thinking, I need some new facial cleansers. So, I have a few. You know? Uh, 
Let me see if that's the one I watched. So I have a few, you know, I, I done bought a few. Just like I was like, oh, I want some body serums. So I bought some body serums. Now I feel like, okay, you have enough to try them out and see, do you like them? I know that, um, let me go on there and see. What'd you say her name is? I think this is one I be watching sometimes, a fragrant glance. Let me see. Oh yeah, I watch her. Yeah, she's good. Right? So, um I like um yeah, so so that's kind of where I am and then and I'm still watching myself because let me tell y'all. I'm in this body oil vibe right now. I'm just letting y'all know right now. I'm in a body oil vibe. So I'm, I, I've been I've been putting body oils in carts and taking them out because I'm like, oh, I want that oil. I've been putting them in and taking them out, putting them in and taking them out. So yeah, so I'm just like. But see, you watch those and then you'd be like, oh my God, I need everything. So I'm, you know, but I'm doing good because I, I have not, I have not, even though there's some things I want, I've just been like, yeah, I'm not going to buy them right now. I don't need them right now. So I won't buy them, which is doing good. Now, I, even though, you know, <laughs> with this large collection that I have, you know, it's, you know, it's like, you can slow down, killer. You can slow down, killer. So that's why. Hey, Valencia, did it still, did, did you wear on the leave today? Did it smell, still smell like air freshener to you? I meant to ask you that. Um, And just like now, like I know I'm in this sweater thing, like D'Angelo was talking about, I think Mark was talking about it. I've been in this sweater set thing. So I need like, I know I want like three or four more sweater sets because I saw some on Shein that I want. So I need to get those. Yeah. And then on top of it, I need to make sure, you know, because I got to keep my pajama glam going. So I got to buy me a couple of pieces of pajama glam. So yeah, that, that's where I am. That's where I am. But I, but I am, plus I'm going out, you know, I want to, I want to see y'all. I want to travel a little more. So I don't want to be putting all this money just into that. Now, don't get me wrong. If some things pan out the way I would like them to, or help out, then okay. Then that'll be like, you know, my little mad money to do that. But you know, there's other things that I want to do and share and talk about and hang out with. And so I got a bound. I'm, I'm working on that balance. Now, to be quite honest, I did buy a lot of fragrances this year. Of course I did. But they were so inexpensive. I mean, like some of the prices that I paid were ridiculously underpriced. So I know that, you know, the one thing I will say. Um, okay. <laughs> See, I love it. It smells so good on me. Um the one thing I will say is that um, <laughs> that um, I am, you know, I'm looking at things a little differently. And, and like, for instance, I have all these samples. Um, I love my Nabla bronzer. Okay, you had to. You know, but it's like, if you're getting, you know, so I still will be pulling it by on good deal. You know, I still might be pulling them by a good deal, but I, but I will, I'm, I'm doing better with not every good deal that I see. So even though I bought a lot of fragrances, I did not pay retail. No. And I think part of uh, the thing with doing it is that um doing it a little more like this you know i'm just i just need to you know just be not not i'm not even gonna say pragmatic just you know i'm, I'm doing better with not just snatching everything because i had a moment like like real talk um 
I haven't ordered a fragrance and we know, and this is in our world in about, you know, like for me, like, I, cause I had to, I bought one, but it's for somebody else. I haven't bought anything in almost, I haven't ordered me anything since Black Friday. That was the last time I ordered some fragrance. So there we go. I know. And our, see, for us to say, I have not bought a fragrance since then. For me, I'm like, that's good. Right, what's a hood? <laughs> I knew it was supposed to be good. And I, that's why I left it alone. So, yeah. So, and I've been like, nah, you know, you do, let's do this. Let's do that. So, I'm good. And, and there's so much here. Like, I got samples all over the place. You know, Anisha sent me samples. Helen sent me samples. Since Explorer, I have samples. So, there is no reason why I can't. And that's why I said, like, when it comes to content, I can always come up with some content if I really, if I really think about it. Yeah. And there's been a couple of times I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Because let me tell y'all something. Joma Shop has Roses on Ice on sale for $153. It's been having it. And y'all told me I needed it. And I was going to get it. But I said, no, no, you good. You don't, don't, you good. And so I haven't bought it. Even though I keep looking at it and going, dang, you should really get it. I haven't bought it. So that's, yeah. Because <laughs> I done put it in I got it sitting in the damn cart right now I'm like nope nope. See Oh by the way though You know I do have coming So we're gonna We're gonna have to have a scent night I have my um A Decants coming of Tonka Cola. I'll have it. So, yeah, I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I, I had a decant of Tonka Cola coming from Mancera. By the way, let me tell y'all. You know, in the fragrance groups, especially the ones, um, and there's, um, there's this. You know, they're doing a lot of decans, right? And some of them are, you know, they sound really good to try, right? But I swear to y'all, somebody was doing um, a decans of Talia Ferro Cloud 9. And it was like five mils were like... Oh yeah, they decluttered the hell out of some stuff. I, I'm staying off the. I can't. I won't even look at the sale threads too much. Um, they wanted like, was, did she say like five mils, fifteen dollars? It was something ridiculous to me. Cause I was like, you might as well just go and buy the shit. They're not boring. I love some man Sarah. Here's the interesting thing. Let's just be honest. And I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, we buy these things and we're like, oh, that's so boring. Uh, and that's why I have to, I look at it a different way is because the majority of people do not have not, they don't have things like this, right? Um, and so, yeah, they, yeah, them decan prices are ridiculous. I'm like, now y'all playing with me. Um, but they're like, you know, they're like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, mm. I mean, cause I was looking at something and they was like five meals. Um, and I get it because they are kind of, they're expensive fragrances. 
And you see, you know, see, you really ain't making that much money off of them. But I'm like, mm. I do too. I like the golden nectar. Um, which ones did you get on TJ Maxx, Birdie? Uh, I, I've been going back and forth if I was going to get a full bottle. If I did, that, then I need to use that 20% off dip, uh, coupon. Um, but this is enough. No, you know what? See, here's the thing, and that's why I'm, um, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're like, you can buy a bottle of uh, Talia Ferro for like 50 something dollars. Yes, I did see that Comer got a, a spotlight on Fragrantica. Um, yeah, this is the little travel spray. Yeah, this is the, uh, yeah, this is the, yeah. And this is the 10 mil travel spray. Cause I don't do no roller balls. I can't, I can't fuck with the roller balls, but, um, yeah, that's why I said it's enough. I don't need it. Well, the thing is, is that when it comes like to this whole frag com thing, I think that, and I'm saying this from, especially the female side is that we have gotten into these whole like um super hype everything's hyped up um you know oh it's so hyped up and moving on and things like that um and talking about something and you know it's get it's gotten very beauty community ish and that's why i'm kind of like uh uh, because it has become very beauty community community ish, um, <laughs> where everybody's trying to rush and be in with the the in crowd and be seen with the in you know, and I'm cool with just doing my thing, right? And well, of course, you're gonna be in some background rooms because, excuse me, everybody and their mama talks about. Background Rouge. You know, it's like the beauty community. Um, exactly. And so it's like, it's that's the whole point now. Hey, ain't where that cloud? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the... um. Yeah, the it, on the female side, especially, you know, on the female side, especially, it is very hype train. It is very, you know, everybody's rushing to get the newest thing that's coming out. It is becoming that. And so that's why I'm like, let me just stay in my lane. Because, and don't get me wrong, I get really cool you know if i really want something i'm really into it. okay cool just like real talk just like with this whole um you ain't miss nothing oh yes yeah, oh yeah the clicks are hot now and don't get me wrong you got the male clicks too you got some male clicks out there you know with but the women clicks are getting so it's becoming so irritating. And um, but here's what I'm gonna say about that though, is um there are more people looking at that stuff, and I don't know. I just you know, I just be like, you know what? Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. And here's how you know it's real clickish. Check the comments. Because you could tell it's super clickish because people be so geeked up for another creator to post a comment. Okay, thanks a lot. You know, and if they say something fine, I'm going to respond. But it's not like, oh my God, they said something. Oh yeah, TikTok is like, Here's what drives me insane about that whole TikTok culture, reels, all of that. It's like the most inane shit. It's just like running around 
and people are, and that's what people are watching. Like, you know, the whole, you know, we're going to lip, we're going to like put our attitude. How do they call it? Right. Um, the whole attitude vibe, you know, saying something, some voiceover shit. That voiceover shit with attitude drives me insane. The thing with TikTok is so hilarious is that, um, is that, like she said, like Gucci guilty. You'll see stuff that you like, really? Okay. And I try not to be snobbish. But it's like, like, you know, like Casablanca is now the big thing again, you know, because all these TikTokers have found out about Casablanca and everybody, oh my God, Casablanca is so good. It's like, okay, okay, okay. And it's, get, but, and I will say, because two years ago, we know that there was no, the, the PR was not coming out with the fragrances like they are <laughs> but i'll be honest with you i don't know if i want to be on a pr list because the way these companies are working now it's not really a pr list um yeah um it's not really a pr uh yeah that see that's the whole thing it's like the pro okay here's what you know like you said you don't want to be snobbish but you're looking at it like y'all ain't like this just came out that's the thing that that i think that brings out the snob in you um uh, um was that that brings out that kind of snobbish vibe it's like they'll talk about like them talking about casablanca and they're like oh my god it's the you know now it's like the it girl or whatever and you're going oh okay well, okay And it's okay because there's all different spaces, all different things that people are going to like. But don't come like this shit just brand fucking new. Like you said, Gucci Guilty. Love it. But don't act like you just came, oh, I didn't, I got some Gucci Guilty. You know, but I'm just saying, it's like, if you do, that Gucci Guilty been around forever. Yeah, but that format is like, that's the new thing because let's be, listen, you are noticing, check this out. A lot of people are migrating away from YouTube into TikTok and um, <laughs> TikTok and doing the IG reels and stuff because that's where they're growing faster. And so... And I hate to say this to people, um, is that, um, is that, <laughs> I'm reading y'all comments, y'all killing me. Um, yeah, you know, it's like, everything is like brand new to them, but it was like, uh, I, I always want to say, and if, and I want to tell them y'all need to be watching how this is rolling out. Because <coughs> eventually people come back to YouTube, right? Because even though people are like, oh, YouTube is over. Oh, YouTube is over. You need to maintain your YouTube space because it's consistent and people watch YouTube. YouTube is the biggest one is the number two search engine behind Google. So people are going to go on YouTube. So yes, TikTok is hot. You know, TikTok and all of this stuff is hot. And that fast stuff is hot. But there's still a space for that. Speaking of that, who did I see? Was, did I see like Jackie Ina? Um, now all of a sudden she's a fragrance person. No, she was talking about her natural hair. I couldn't even watch that shit. I was like, what? But don't get me wrong. I do need to do a um more shorts on, on YouTube. 
And the reason why is because YouTube shoots those out to more people. Like with the shorts, you get more new people watching you. Um, right? So you need, so that, yeah, yeah. She's saying something about her natural hair. I'm like, yeah, well, yeah, I think they, um, but it's like, so now, now you like talking about, oh my God, my, what, what, cause I was like, I really cannot stand, um, I can't stand. Can can we just talk about cuff it challenge? Can that damn thing go away? Can the cuff it challenge please just go away finally? It is just as ubiquitous um as what was that? No, best friends. My best friend. Oh. I am so tired of hearing that shit. I be like, God, here we go again. A twin of them. No new friends. Ooh, that one was driving me insane. I couldn't stand that one. And now we got girl the Beyonce Cuffa Challenge. You know what the Cuffa Challenge is. Mm -hmm. I can't watch those challenges. They, Cause it's like, if you watch one of them, then a hundred million of them are coming into your, no, I can't do it. Oh yeah. The only one that has a good live is YouTube. Yeah. Um, because Facebook live is terrible. IG live is terrible. Um, yeah. TikTok live is trash. All of them are trash. <laughs> The only the best one was Periscope. When Periscope died, <coughs> Periscope had a really good platform. But I think YouTube just stole it from them because their platform is pretty much almost as good as Periscope's. Yeah, just just go. Yeah, you you'll find a cuff it challenge. Okay, y'all, it's time for me to get off of here. Let me go go to sleep. Let me, let me go to sleep. Who was this? Who, somebody sent me some family member who... Oh yeah, I listen. I don't know why y'all didn't know me on Periscope. Oh, honey, I was live and listen, I was killing it on Periscope and me. Ooh. I had so much fun on Periscope. We used to, I used to be on there every day. And I had, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna start doing, you know, get back to doing that sometimes. Cause I used to be on Periscope every day. Kicking it. I'm going to bed, y'all. I ain't going. I didn't just got a. I didn't got a, a something. I didn't got a. Uh, I would I be wrong? Somebody in my family just sent me something about New Year's Eve. About uh, doing something for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I don't know who they are. The only name I know on here that's come through us, two of my cousins have come through. Um, but I'm like, who who is this? I don't even know who this is. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is one of uh I'm gonna 
I'm assuming this is. I mean, I know it's one of my cousins. It's somebody in my family. I am not. I'm just going to let this roll because I'm going to be like, because oh. I feel kind of bad, you know, because I bet you they think I have their number. All right, y'all got me for three more minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to go upstairs and figure out what I'm about to put eat because I am starving. I think I got some fried rice. I think I got some fried rice upstairs. I think that's what I'm going to have to have because just a little bowl of rice. I'm not going to do too much. See, I'm trying to lessen my excessiveness. Okay, man, yeah, I'm about to, yeah, yeah, I'm hungry, I'm a hungry, I'm a hungry, I'm a hungry, I'm a hungry. So, anyway, um, it was good talking to y'all, you know, y'all know I'll probably, I'm gonna have to come on a little earlier tomorrow because I'm going to be, uh, ooh, greens and fried catfish, that shit sound fire. I made a really good roast this week. Um, I think I'll make some turkey chili. Matter of fact, I know I'm gonna make some turkey chili for lunch for tomorrow, next week right we all coming over we are all coming over um what was i gonna say i forgot i forgot y'all so thank y'all for hanging out with me oh i'm gonna be going on earlier because b and them are going out later on tomorrow so i'll probably do an afternoon live in the morning you know um because i'm gonna come down here do some work because, see, they don't know. They not getting me all day tomorrow or Sunday. Because, see, she think they keep doing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell y'all. I love my family. But, yeah, they be getting me. And so I'm working on this. Y'all ain't getting me no more. I'm, I'm moving around. And Kari be trying to get me too. Cause I was upstairs watching TV. That's why I gotta get bring me a TV down here. I'm want, I'm trying to watch a little TV. Right. Listen, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you how it works when I get home. We get home. I'll sit down for a minute. I swear to God, I think they've trained the kids. I think they be up there every morning. Like, now remember, when we get home, sit, <laughs> sit around Gigi. Because I kid you not. And then if Kari see me come downstairs, I got to run down the stairs. I got to sneak down the stairs because he'll follow me, right? So this is what they do. I kid y'all not. I'll go and sit on the couch like for a few minutes like I just came in. Who for a minute? Brooklyn come on this side of me. And then Kari, and I can be sitting right at the edge of the couch. You know, right on the edge of the couch. Mind of my business. Kari going to sit right here. There's no space right there. He's going to sit on my leg. And then all of a sudden, Brooklyn's right here too. And they be like surrounding me. I can't even move. They just be on me. And she just be looking at me smiling. And then he be like, and I can't, and I can't resist him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can't resist. I be wanting to throw them off of me. Like, get away from me, you kids. But then they be looking at me and Brookie be smiling at me. And, and then Kari be all like with his little iPad just chilling on me. You know, I be like, I'm a goof. I'm stuck. But in my head, I'm, th I'm throwing them little kids away from me. But then I just be sitting there. And then this is me. Come on, Brookie. Let's play Candy Crush together because she likes to watch me play Candy Crush. I'm like, let's play Candy Crush. And she just sit there and we play Candy Crush. I got to I gotta work on this because they're still young.
Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna say something real ignorant, and I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end it on this ignorance. This is about to be super ignorant. <laughs> so I'm trying to. Decide, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm, I'm. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna clean it up, or if I'm not. But I don't think it's gonna be able to. I don't think I'm gonna be able to clean this ignorant ass shit about to come out my mouth. Okay. I'm really trying to clean this up in my head, but I don't, I don't really know how to. But I'm just going to say it. Okay. I... Okay. I have become aware of more so than I ever have known. Um, like... Um, The Section 8 bougie, folks. Now, this is what I mean by that. I'm mad because you got Section 8. Let me just let me just put that out there. I'm mad because you got it and I don't. Let me just put that out there. But I love these people who throw it out like I'm doing this and I'm doing this. And they're living real lavish. Um, but they're living lavish off of Section 8. For instance, this one woman said to me recently, you know, she's like, oh, you know, we get it, we're moving into Homewood. Yeah, we get this house in Homewood, blah, blah, blah. And so to me, I don't know, maybe you're written whatever. And then she's like, no, that she was honest. She was like, no, girl, I've been on Section 8 for 20 some years. I was like, I ain't mad at you. But I know another person who, when you hear her talk, I kid you not, you would believe she bought a house. You know what I'm saying? You, the way she talks, you think that this is her house. Or you think she's paying real money because she's like, oh, I'm going out and getting lawn furniture. I just went to, you know, and I spent $1,400 on lawn furniture. Well, you show the fuck in because you ain't paying no rent. So I just, I, I'm i like, because ain't nothing wrong with your hustle or how you get your shit done. I be mad. You know what I'm saying? But don't front. Just be who you are. I'm like, like, for instance, I, there was a person that I know that until about a year and a half, right? well, right, maybe right before the pandemic, when I talked to her, when I talked to this person, I thought they were a teacher like me. Now, mind you, y'all know, I have never lied about it. For a long time, I was a long-term sub because I just would not commit to being a teacher, right? But I would tell you, I was a long-term sub. Now, of course, being a long-term sub, that means I'm, you know, I got a degree, y'all. But, that, and that's neither here nor there. But this particular person, I swear to y'all, I swear to you all. And I'm going to say this again, I swear to y'all. The way she used to talk, this way this person talked, I assumed she was a teacher because the way she talked, she talked like she was running a room. She was, I just thought she was teaching. I thought all that only to find out no shade. She's actually what they call a Sika here in Chicago at CPS. And I was like, what? Because the way she talks is like, She's, you know, this is her room, you know, my classroom, my classroom. And yes, it is your classroom too, you know, because you are in, a, that is your classroom too. But it just, I never got the vibe that there was another in, body in there. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing, because then I'll be like, oh yeah, I must co-teach or whatever. I never got the impression. 
from what she was saying that there was any other adult in this room but her teaching to find out that I was like, what? Yes, exactly, Valencia. That's exactly what she was. And don't get me wrong, I love my parents. But it was like the way she talked was like, the you know, because like my my parents, you know, she's got her students and yeah, I'm working with my students and stuff. Yeah, and fine. But this particular person was always like my classroom, my classroom, and this, my student. And I was, and I just assumed because I never heard her discuss anybody else like they were in. I thought that, you know, it was her classroom. I was like, girl, stop. 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 And like I said, there's no prop, there's nothing wrong with that position. Hell, I need folks like that. I need people who do that position. And they're needed and they're very qualified or whatever. But clearly, you don't want people to know that. And it was like in passing that I found out. It was like truly in passing that I found out. And I was like, oh, hmm. And just like, you know, I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, honestly, you know, y'all know I'm in school, but I don't really put it out there. You know, like, don't you hate the people who be like, oh, I'm grinding in school. Okay, do your thing. You ain't got to announce it all the time. Now, sometimes you might need to, to get some relief, some stress. But when you're like, oh, I'm grinding. Oh, I'm doing this. Oh, I'll I, I, I be like, oh, Lord. I barely said anything. The only thing I ever, I said on social media was like, yeah, you know, this is what I've done. I'm here now. Now, do I talk about that I'm in school and oh my God, this is driving me crazy and I'm stressed out? No, absolutely not. That's, that's not anything I need to talk about. But I do get that social media. Um, well, see, I came from, you know, from that... Um, I came from that. My daddy taught me real G's move in silence. That's what I was taught. A real G moves in silence. Because no one's because you, if you're doing some shit, why should everybody shouldn't know? That's why it gets so funny, is that rarely do people know I've been out of town. When I've gone out of town, it's not like I throw it up on social media or post about it like on my, you know, my personal stuff. And because people be killing me with that wheels up. I'm out of here. And honestly, a lot of people do be doing that when they're going out of town. It's like, um, you might want to wait till you get back home before you start telling people. But it's like people need feel this need to let you know, hey, I'm on my way here. Oh, I'm doing this. You don't need to know what the fuck I'm doing until I get back. If I want to tell you then. And I might not tell you then. Oh, well, you don't know. <laughs> you know? Right, exactly. The check-in at the airport be killing me. I'll be like. I just be wanting to be like, okay. Okay, have a good time. And that's the thing. And I know, and that's so why I'm no good at vlogging. Because, I, and I will take, you know, I, I do take some pictures and everything to, you know, of places I'm at. But I'm not a vlogger. Because I enjoy where I'm at. You know, I'm having a good time there. I'm not trying to think about, oh, let me get this camera right. Let me talk about it. Let me show everybody what I'm doing. That's why I'm not, that's why I'm not good at that stuff. Because, and probably because I'm older and we didn't have this technology. So that wasn't our reality when we were out there in them streets. So, you know, I don't, that's not something I'm going to do. You know, hell, I barely take a picture. And that's probably why, because when I was out, we wasn't, you know, you wasn't at the club and everybody pulling up their phone going, yeah, hey, so everybody could see them. Smells 
speaking of some funny shit, let me tell y'all this funny ass story for my job and then I'm out of here. So, you know, it's Christmas time. So we in a meeting, my, my department meeting, and my boss is like, hey, are you going to the Christmas party? And so we were like, yeah, yeah. One particular person was like, I am not going to the Christmas party. <laughs> and we were like, what? He was like, I will not be going to the Christmas party. Um, girl, I didn't need none of that shit that I was doing on camera. Drea. Oh my God, the hospital ones are annoying as fuck. Or the ones who just put out, pray for me. Pray for my family. And then I'm going back on their page like, what, what am I praying for? What am I praying for? Can you give me something to, can you give me a point of reference? Okay. So anyway, we talking, she's like, no, we're going, we're going. He was like, no, I am not going. He was like, because some people are immature and blah, blah, blah. And that's why I am not going. So <laughs> this young girl who used to go to the school, who works with us now, she was like, oh yeah, I know what happened. So <laughs> he, so he was like, I'm not going because some of the people are immature, blah, blah, blah. I was like, dang, what happened? I found out what happened. So, <laughs> this girl who works with us, still apparently there was a video taken of him at a at a at at the Christmas party. And it was put on Snapchat and it was low-key went viral. So he's like, what the hell was all the, what did he do? She still had the video. And, and so now I have a copy of the video. Why was he dancing on this chick to pony? Now, as Bianca said, why does every guy who really, you know, who trying to be sexy and do, and just do the most have to do it to pony? By genuine. Oh, honey, I'm so glad there ain't no videos of me back at the Christmas parties. But why do they always have to do it to pony? My pony. Yes, <laughs> it's always pony. Y'all ain't gonna know who it is. So let me see. Let me. I got it on my phone. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if y'all can see it again. <coughs> he doing it all too. He doing it all. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me give y'all the best part. <laughs> That's why he won't go to another party. That's why he won't go to another party. Let me tell y'all, my friend said it to me. I had to pull over to laugh. Because I had to let me put it on. Oh. 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 <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay, I'm out. Now I'm out. I am ending it with a laugh. <laughs> right. So he won't go to any more Christmas parties. But see, I'm like this. You young enough to know. Don't do no shit like, like that. She was another co-worker. Yeah. 
Especially because this is like totally out of character for this person. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, you would just, you're like, what? Did you just do what? What? I'm like, what? No, 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 not you. So, yeah. Oh, no, he, no, he's done that before. That was not impromptu. That was not impromptu. Mm -mm. He's done that. Uh-uh, he has practiced it. He has been, he was watching Magic Mike. That was, a, that, he, he, that was Magic Mike. He was watching Magic Mike. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna be hard for me not to call him Magic Mike now. I'm, that's that's gonna be in my head every time I see him now. What's up, Magic? What's up, Magic? <laughs> but he don't know I've seen the the video. Okay, I'm out of here. Talk to you all later. Have a good night. Get some rest.